Here I have Windows 10 in my virtual box, so if things are a little bit slow, apologies in advance. Now we're going to install Ubermag using Miniconda. The first thing we need to do is to download and install Miniconda. For that I go to my web browser and I search for Miniconda. I go to this first search result and here in Windows installers I choose Python 3 46-bit Windows click on it and wait for it to be downloaded Miniconda installer is now downloaded so I click on it and wait for it to start This is pretty straightforward. Next, I agree. Next, by default it's installed in, in the home directory. I'm happy with that. Install and wait for Miniconda to be installed. Miniconda is now installed. So next, we don't want to create any bookmarks so I will turn this off and click finish. We can close the web browser now and now here I type Miniconda as I said everything is a little bit slow because I'm in the virtual box and now we open Anaconda prompt when we open Anaconda prompt but before I show you that let me make this a little bit larger When we open Anaconda prompt, you can see that we are by default in our base environment. Now, it is always good to install packages in different environments just to avoid any possible conflicts with the packages you already have installed or you're going to install in the future. So that's why we're going to create a fresh environment by typing conda create dash n. And now I need to give a name for my environment. For simplicity, I'll just call it ubermag. And I like to be explicit which Python I'm using, so I'm going to say Python, the newest one, 3.8. Press return, and then we wait a little bit. Now we confirm by pressing Y and return, and wait for the environment to be created. The environment is now created. But as you can see here, we are still in the base environment. But Conda here tells us if you want to go in Ubermag environment, you need to type Conda activate Ubermag. Ubermag. Press return. Now, as you can see, base has changed to Ubermag. So we are inside the fresh environment we just created. So now let's install ubermag we type conda install dash dash so it's double dash channel channel is conda dash forge space and the name of the package we want to install and that's ubermag press return and let's wait a little bit now conda went to the cloud and downloaded all the metadata for our packages, solved the environments and everything. And now it asks us if we want to confirm that we want to install Ubermag. Of course we do. Why? Press return. And now we wait, I don't know, about five minutes for Ubermag to be installed. Yeah. Ubermag is now installed and what we want to do now is to test the installation. Now, before we run tests, it is always a good idea to make a separate directory and let's call it ubermag test and then we navigate to that directory and inside that directory we run the test. The reason for that is because ubermag creates lots of different 
directories and files just to test your system and it's just making it easier for us to clean everything up because by default we are in the home directory and then we don't want 10 15 directories showing up there and then we have to delete them individually this way we can just delete uber mac test if we need to now to test uber mac we type python dash c and then in quotes first we import uber mac then i type semicolon and then i type ubermag dot test open close bracket and press return and now we wait again for the tests to complete the tests are now done you shouldn't worry too much about the numbers you see here only two things when you should get worried are if you get any failed tests or if you get any errors otherwise everything is fine now before I leave now before I leave Anaconda I want to show you how to start Jupyter from Anaconda prompt so you just type Jupyter notebook press return Wait a little bit. Yeah, I forgot to set Google Chrome to be my default browser on this fresh, fresh installation. But yeah, and now you open your Jupyter Notebook. And the last thing is if you leave Anaconda prompt. So when you start Miniconda again, by default you are going to be back in your base environment so now if you want to use uber mag don't forget to activate the right environment and then from here you start jupyter notebook yeah and that's it